Hey guys, Zach with Savage Traveling here in Hoi An, Vietnam. And this is the ancient town. And uh, we're gonna do a little quick tour. So walk around. It's, you know, it's like 11 a.m. There's a little bit going on. Uh, a little dreary out. Not horrible. Hopefully it doesn't get horrible. But uh, we're just gonna explore around uh, nip shit a little, see what's going on. There's I'll be here one more night and then I'm moving up to Da Nang and then I might be moving on from Vietnam, but that's not entirely sure yet, but figure we get some video of this place. Um, a lot of just souvenirs and tourist, tourist stuff. Uh, a lot of, you know, chicks getting their glamour shot on and things like that, I've noticed. So we're definitely in the tourist zone and Definitely tons of Westerners here. Um, probably a, as many as in the Trang. I just don't think they're Russian. I think they're, I've seen a few Americans and definitely some Brits and Aussies. So. You know, get your leather shop. Several leather shops I saw so far. Tam Tam Cafe. Uh, yeah, just, you know, your basic tourist zone. Um, like I said, I haven't seen anything too spectacular. But just tons of t-shirts. Shoes. There's some stuff. <laughs> well, tons of cafes and coffee shops, but that's, that's all of Vietnam I've noticed. We have rickshaws. These are high class rickshaws. Much nicer than the, the many I've seen in Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, tourists, you know, souvenirs. Get, some, get your little pointy rice paddy hats there. Those are always cool. Uh, it's cool as heck. I mean, I like it. I'm not here to spend money though. So, you know, it's cool to look at. It's art. Whole food. I mean, it goes that way and it goes that way, but this seems to be like the heart of it, but I could be mistaken. Gotta get this done early so less people to step around or over, you know. It's a fun now, I guess. <laughs> yeah, shoes, shoes, suits, leather, fake clothing, or you know, fake stuff. What's that? Uh, just be like counterfeit goods. <laughs> I guess is what you call them. You know. A lot of Westerners, some Chinese. No thank you, I have a motorbike. Yes sir, I am an easy rider. <laughs> Food right there. Baguettes and such. But, like I said, it's just like a tourist street strip. Puppy dog. More art. Santa Claus getting it on the saxophone. Of course. Kind of got like a New Orleans feel to it. Maybe it's French, hell, I don't know. Could be a huge French influence here, come to think of it. Yeah, that might be. But cool nonetheless, like I said, just tourist, touristy. Like, you know, linens, well not linens, but fabrics. I don't know what you say. <laughs> and some Chinese lanterns, more. I assume fake goods. Now there's your tailor. 
Lots of tailor shops, not even, not just here, like on the whole walk here, there was tons of tailor shops. And there's tons down here, so. Must be their thing. Fokine delicious. Um, we're gonna head left here because I haven't been that way yet. I know what's down straight, not much. I think this is maybe, no. Well, you know, it's part of the old town. It's, it's what it is. <laughs> Taylors. <laughs> I guess we could, we could explore this alley. There's really nothing down there. So I said, I'm just poking around. No real destination in mind, other than not get ran over. Bye, scoot. It's down here. Yeah, looks a little, looks a little private. Um. There you go, that's what I like to see. That's the good stuff there. Get out of my yard. <laughs> yeah, the damn vegan. That's cool. Cafes, there, actually just cafes, coffee, light food. What's down here? Let's go this way. Ooh, I smell garlic bread. I smell garlic bread. <laughs> Peace guys. Make that the thumbnail maybe. Poke the camera in his house there and see what's up. <laughs> oh, are we coming to the end here? I hope I can get out there. Oh, is it the coast? I think so. Yeah. I just free out. Yeah? I just free out. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I hope I can get out of here. Wait. Oh, it's dead end. <laughs> Oh, now it's starting to rain. Hello. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good, I just Where ran in. Where from? Ran into the dead end. <laughs> Excuse me, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is, you know. I was hoping it went through, but it did not. What's going on in your house? <laughs> You know, just cruising around the old quarter, guys. Uh, starting to get wet, so I might have to throw my jacket on here. Really was hoping it was... I don't think we can go any farther this way. Well, maybe we'll see. There's some uh, stuff for sale everywhere. It's down here. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> Espresso. Oh, it just runs into it down here. Okay. That's cool. I had a fabulous breakfast a little bit ago. Um, French toast. Bunch of fruit, mango smoothie, a little sausage, a little bacon. It was uh, like nine dollars. I mean, you know, a lot of people like, you can't, shouldn't spend that much money when you go there. You know, people will get all in this kick about how they have to eat local and shit. And uh, man, I eat what I want. <laughs> You're on Candid Camera. Oh wow. This is the old town. Yeah, I wonder if this is French influence, man. I about bet it is, but cool. See, you know, it's just like just souvenirs and cafes as far as the eye can see. I mean, which is cool, but I mean 
That's what it is. Oh, this is neat. I don't know what this guy is. Kazmierz Kowdowski. I wonder, wonder where he is. Looks like some glamour shots there. Well, the rain is still coming, so. About to throw my rain suit on here, guys. At least my jacket. And uh, probably head back to the room and then edit some video because. I mean, I've seen it. <laughs> it is what it is. Money exchange. You don't see too many of them over here. Not like other North Thailand, anyways. Oh, let's check this out. Yep, just wandering around. I think we'll get down here and I'll probably end this and uh, maybe I'll see you guys again later from Hoi An, but I doubt it. I think, like I said, I think we've about seen it all with what's in here in the city. Uh, like I said, I'm going to Da Nang tomorrow. I'm going to hole up there for a day or two, see what this weather's going to do, and then... And then, I don't know. But that's the beauty of traveling like I do, is I, I don't know. Okay guys, I'm gonna hop off here and uh, I'll get catch back up with you soon, maybe when the weather's a little better and there's a little more to see and do because he like said the tour stuff's fun for an hour or so, but then it's pretty much ran its course. So now this has been Zach with Savage Traveling. Hope you guys like and subscribe and uh, continue watching all the cool stuff that's to come. Peace.